My opportunity in respiratory therapy began at Lakeland. And now I'm your respiratory therapist. My dream career began in the Adult Accelerated Program at Lakeland. Now I'm a financial analyst. My career in special education started here at Lakeland. And today I counsel adults with special needs in our community. Find your dream career. It starts at Lakeland. Lakeland Community College. Opportunity starts here. Visit lakelandcc.edu. So you started classes, and now you're wondering how to manage it all. Did you know that Lakeland has a lot of services to help you? Lakeland's Student Success Center offers a lot of free workshops to help you become a stronger college student. You can learn how to organize your work and schedule, or strengthen your memory, and how to master study skills, how to acquire about math and anxiety, tips for test success, and more. If you need more personal help, they have success coaches with support areas such as taking notes, reading, enhancing, time management, finding your learning style, and even the basic computer skills. So don't let your semester get away from you. Stop by the Student Success Center in room 1A10943 to see what they are, can help to see what they can do to help you get through your classes with success. Low on funds? Need a textbook? Try the textbook on reserve at the Lakeland Library. There's many textbooks there available for two hours in the library use. Visit the Lakeland Library on the 3rd floor C building in rooms C3051 or call 440-525-7424 for more information. Hi, this is Carrie Morin, number four from the Lakeland Volleyball team. Please come out and support Lakeland Volleyball as they face Cuyahoga Community College on Wednesday, October 4th at 6 o'clock p.m. For more information on Lakeland Athletics, visit athletics.lakelandcc.edu and go Lakers! Thinking of getting engaged? Tired of mall shopping where all the jewelry looks alike? Cameo Jewelers is the store to shop for beautiful, unique diamond engagement rings, silver fashion, and Disney jewelry. Why shop online when you can get the same pricing and better quality at Cameo Jewelers. Two store locations, Menor and Chardon. Menor store liquidation, 50% off Pandora. Remember the five C's when buying a diamond. Cut clarity, color, carrots, and Cameo. Bring in your Lakeland ID for a special discount. Check out our website, CameoJewelers.com, Facebook, and Twitter. Here at Lux, we focus solely on hookah. We have an extremely knowledgeable staff, and we always try to make all of our customers feel at home. This is where true hookah enthusiasts come to smoke. Our prices are reasonable, and our service is outstanding. We are a hookah lounge in the purest sense of the word. A hookah lounge designed and staffed by hookah fans for hookah fanatics. To top it off, we always go above and beyond. We are meticulous in everything that we do. We make sure that your hookah experience is of the highest possible quality. If it doesn't taste right to us, then we won't serve it to you. Majority of our customers turn into regulars and eventually friends because we pride ourselves on our product and service. It's just that simple. We want you to enjoy your yourself and expect you to leave happy. If you want the best hookah experience, you come to Lux. Located at 37939 Vine Street, Willow By. We invite you to come experience the flavor and see what you've been missing. We hope to see you soon. This is Scott Barlow, Athletic Director at Lakeland Community College. You're listening to Lake Effect Radio, home of the Lakers. This is hey, did you know that Lakeland calling. Community College has their own student-run radio station? Well, indeed they do. Did you also know that they stream live on www.livestream.com slash Lake Effect? They have different DJs each hour. Well, now they have an all-new, brand-new website to fit your needs, including scheduled show times, live stream camera feed, local artists and musicians pages, and much more. Check out Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio's website at www.lakeeffectradio.org for more Hello, uh, Lakeland Community College. This is two crazy guys talking. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half. This is, uh, <laughs> no, no, the show's name is two. We can't count. We're crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is, um, Walrus Mike. This is Raptor. Raptor. Nice to meet and you. And this is, uh, Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to talk about random stuff and <laughs> ideas and things. Have you guys had any dreams recently? Uh, I have a that couple. you can remember? Yeah, but they're not quite uh, appropriate to speak in 
here. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so then, what about some really cool dreams that you've had in the past that you can remember? Can you tell me about them? I think I had a couple. Like, uh, I actually put some like realism in my dreams for some reason. Like, I'll be like in some weird random spot and try to walk, and then all of a sudden it's like I'm falling. I cannot do much. I'm falling up, and now I'm dead. <laughs> It's I like, I it. can't just fly or something. It's like, I can just like go like, oh, this is a dream. I can do whatever I want. I wish <laughs> I could do that. That would be awesome. That but, would be cool. I mean, sometimes I know that I'm dreaming. I just follow the, I don't try to change anything. I just follow whatever I'm doing. It's like, okay, I'm doing this now. <laughs> I remember one dream I had. It was kind of interesting. Basically, what happened was I found out that I could breathe water. <laughs> breathe in water. So how do nice. I show people I can do this? I get a tiny little uh, plastic bag, fill it with water, and then put my head in it <laughs> <laughs> to show I can breathe in water. Why not just go in a lake? <laughs> Dream logic, my friend. Fair Dream enough. logic. Fair enough. What about you, uh, Walrus? Oh, I've I've had, like, dreams that seem to last for days before. <laughs> Ooh. And I'll be going through, like, these weird places, and then... Well, there, uh, there's this one recurring dream that, that, that used to be a nightmare, and now it's just fun. <laughs> Where, like, I keep seeing just weird stuff. I can't really even describe it. Nice. And it, it, it feels like it's about two days long. And Did you go there's to a bunch of weird doors that lead to different places, and hmm. the floor is always made of wood. Oh. And okay. um, there's weird. like a lot of very Lewis Carroll-y things happen. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Actually, it was the, the still kind of talk about dream stuff. But this was there was this one weird dream that I had that I that my character died in and then in my mind's like you know what i'm gonna try this again and it, <laughs> and it just and i just restarted that dream and i'm like wow well okay then that happened <laughs> yeah i've had i've had video game respawning dreams before <laughs> nice those are fun i've also also one time there was like uh years ago there's a christmas event at an mmo when i was like you know a real loser and i do it all day <laughs> For two weeks, and then I'd fall asleep and dream that I was still doing it. <laughs> I love those kind of dreams. Those are the best. <laughs> Unless you're working and you uh, dream that you're working, working. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's and horrible. you just wake up exhausted. And then, and then you have to do uh, it again. Then you have to do it again. Oh, Actually, no, it was it was like light work. Real. I just wanted the items. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really like dreams. Dreams are a lot of fun to talk about. I find that dreams sort of have archetypes, or, well, at least for me, uh, whenever I dream, it really does feel like a video game, because I know for a fact that if I mess up, I can just whoop, back to the beginning, and try again, whoop, back to the beginning, try again, and it's like that for almost all of my dreams. Huh, lucky. Not for me. It's more like I'm just going for the ride until something happens and see what's going on. Sometimes I'm not even in my dream. And it's kind of weird. It's like, who am I following? Who is this person? I don't know. Whatever. Oh, man. That reminds me. Like, story dreams are a lot of fun. One time I had a dream <laughs> where I was literally fighting... Uh, Nick Cage the entire <laughs> dream. <laughs> Who like, won? Nick Cage, of course. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. But, like, what? in the beginning of the dream, it was a theater, there was a blue light on the stage, and the guy runs off and he's killed by Nick Cage. <laughs> it switches over to this really bright uh, stairwell, spiral staircase, and... Nick Cage is holding an amalgam of, like, really crappy, uh, like, JPEG uh, artifact swords. <laughs> and I took it from him. <laughs> and 
after that, it was preparing for the final fight against Nick Cage. So the queen comes in, bursts through the side of this uh, wall, and her, like, it was the English queen, and all of her uh, soldiers came in, and they're like, here's some guns. Fight Nick Cage for us. It'll be great. But that's not even the crazy part. Let me tell you. This next part. So, Nick Cage finally appears. But, this time, he's wearing a lion costume. (laughs) Specifically, a female lion costume. Wait, why a female lion costume? That is my question as well. So, he's wearing this costume... And he just starts slashing and hitting everyone. And he drags me off like a lion would to... Yeah, he drags me off and the lights dim. It's stars. And there's just like scorpions walking over my body at this point. As I'm being dragged away. And it felt right it was such a weird dream it felt right but that happened i don't know how else to to explain it It felt right dream logic i mean there was this one time i dreamed that i was running away from this like some weird assassin lady and i was like running away i was ahead and all of a sudden she like somehow caught up or teleported or something was right behind me and slid my throat oh boy yeah that was somewhat of a nightmare ish but now a nightmare not when I, now what I call a nightmare is just oh that happened uh, my character died this this is not really all that scary yeah. you know it's weird I don't actually wake up for my nightmares I just kind of keep on sleeping it's just dark when I die it's like pitch black I'm like okay I just wait a couple more minutes and I'll probably have another dream or something <laughs> oh I want to know something yes what was Nick Cage saying this whole time <laughs> so. Like standard villain stuff until the end, in which case Nick Cage was like, like he was questioning, is this really what you wanted or something? Like it was almost a motherly tone as well. Like it was calm and collected and just soft at the end. When he's dragging me away specifically, I... I don't know. That was one of the weirdest dreams. And I actually used that dream for uh, my final paper in Dream Quest, which, let me tell you, if you haven't taken this class, do it. Do yourself a favor and take Dream Quest. It is fun. But I used this for my final paper, and my teacher was like, you have some weird dreams. And I yeah. I clearly. mean, dreams are sometimes just weird. Like, I have the most random dreams. It's like, that happened. But Nick Cage in a female lion suit weird? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh, I Sometimes. I mean, I could, it could get that way, depending. I mean, it just goes all over the place. And I, I don't even know what's going to happen sometimes. It's like, I'm watching myself... And third person view, and yes, my dreams, for some reason, if I'm there, I'm seeing myself in third person view, so I know it's actual a dream. But whatever is happening, I can't change whatever is going on. I kind of just watch myself do whatever I'm doing. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. What about you, my, uh, Walrus? I admit, what's the question exactly? You just want me to tell you about a dream? or? Yes, tell me your dream. Okay. <laughs> Well, I often, often in my dreams, I don't have a physical form. I just sort of float around seeing things. <clears throat> and if I do have a physical form, then it gets to stuff we should not mention here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that actually brings up an interesting uh, point. When I dream, it's funny how you just kind of know these things like either you know you're yourself you know you're someone else or you know you're a third party uh 
like observer. Well, and it's I walk around as if I have a physical form, and if I were to look down, there'd be nothing there, <laughs> and I would think nothing of it. <laughs> That's different from the way mine usually works, in which... So as long as I don't look, it's like, okay, I'm just walking here. I looked out, there's no legs. <laughs> hey, I'm <laughs> walking here! <laughs> <laughs> no legs. Oh, I have no legs. Well, that's normal. Alright. No, 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 no. And then if, if I see legs, we're not going to talk about that. I still don't feel anything. <laughs> if you see legs... Stuff's happening. Land yeah. legs. Ha 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 ha! But, uh, so what about what about dreams in real life? What do you want to aspire to, aspire to be? What do you wish that deep down in your core you could just exist as this thing? What are your dreams? Okay, then you mean like the, the ones that are never going to happen or like things that I might be one day? Yes. I guess okay, that's both. Okay, so I'd like to know all of the things. That's not going to happen, but... <laughs> hey, it is a good dream, though. You can continuously learn. What is life if not learning? I, I hope that's, like, what happens when I die. I learn all the things. <laughs> all of a sudden, you know everything in the universe, and dead. Now, would that happen the moment before you die? Or after you die? I, I was I was hoping it'd be like after I die, so I could have some time to enjoy that. Oh. Another question. How long after you die, in which case you would be unable to... Uh, would it be the moment you die, or after there's no potential chance of bringing you back? Well, I mean... Because if they jump the gun and give you all I, the knowledge possible, I don't think you're really dead you yet if you could be brought back. Legally, yeah, you're dead, but you're not dead dead, or you couldn't come back. Hmm. And then, being when you're dead, what is time? There's time a when you're time. alive, what is time? Time, <laughs> time well, that's, that's, a, that's a whole different question, time because is what is time much. anyway? But when you're dead, it becomes possibly completely irrelevant. Time yeah. is kind of a sort of human invention almost at the same time, but it, it wasn't. Time has always existed, but we are the ones that have kept track of said time. I kind of look at it that, like, time is the fourth dimension in space that we're being constantly pulled through at the same rate. I don't... I am not sure I would... Uh, Unless we speed up a lot and a then dimension? We don't get pulled through it at the same rate. Oh no, it actually is a dimension. I mean, I know people say it's a dimension. Uh, it's it's the fourth dimension of space time. But how that works, I mean. So then, well, because you have to cross time moving? in order in order for me to kick you, I have to cross time to do so because I can't just immediately like. And then you've been you've been kicked. You can't you, you can't do that. So I have to cross time and and space to do that, not just space. I always consider time to be more like a property that's constant. But time is not constant. Well, it's not constant because if you it if you travel at a great speed, it it moves differently and then are you talking about light speed here yes if near light but here, here's light the question speed, if that you time just stops time yeah time stops at light speed if you move at a high speed does three dimension change actually you know give an animation and actually because that actually is true because, because uh, when you move it's it, it squashes and then comes back to full size during anime because that's animation i've taken an oh, animation crap. class and that what okay good. i thought okay I okay so 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 i wanted to say that if you consider that um you know moving at light speed is moving as fast as you can through space without bending it 
Um, oh yeah, we could talk about that too. Um, <laughs> bending space to your will. Um, That's some superpower. We don't have that power yet, yet, but we might someday. Who knows? We don't, don't have any idea how to do it, but power. it might. It may or may not be physical, po- physically possible. It's theoretical. I mean, it's there have been uh, ideas of how to move uh, faster than the speed of light, and that's... Wait, there's a way to move fast, faster than the it, speed of light? Basically, <sighs> you reduce the amount of space in front of you, increase the amount of space behind you, and it's like you're riding a wave through the universe. That is exactly what I was so talking about. So, if you... And then the whole, like, time thing... You could just cheat that. You can come back to your same time when you return. So technically, if you somehow get faster than the speed of light, does that mean you're always in the dark? I mean, yeah. If you turned on, <laughs> if you turned on your lights, it probably would not do anything. <laughs> the possibility of actual faster than light speed travel is unknown. It's 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 uh, theorized that you can't even do it go faster than light. Unless unless you're bending space. Then you're not actually going faster than light. You're just, you know... Yeah, you're I made not space actually in front of me smaller. <laughs> you're not actually uh, changing how fast you're going. And then you can go through things. moving and... space around you. Yep. Which is cool. Man, talking about weird future shit. Let's... Oh. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> it's okay. Of the... Yeah, <laughs> it is. Is that one of those words? Oh. Uh... Yes, it is. We're not dead or anything. <laughs> We're not going to come over and, like, you know, oh, hit us over dang. the head and tell us your show's canceled. Well, <laughs> sh- shizen. You can do that. It's a different language. So, yeah, there cares. you go. Just say shiza instead. Because <laughs> there are no Germans around. Germans don't exist. Well, I mean, in <laughs> if there are, the, the FCC doesn't care. So. Oh, well, fair enough. They don't really... The FCC technically doesn't care anyway. Because... Well, we're not on FM or anything right Talk now. About so. That is true, but we do If we have were, to we would have just gotten fired. That's like talking about the solar... Okay, I was trying to... Okay, go ahead. The solar eclipse? No, 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 no. The solar something. No. The solar. The, the solar pow- panels, orbital solar panels. Oh, yes. That we, we asteroid should... mining. Yes, that's right. Oh wait, are you talking we like about that an we, actual like shell around the earth? No, 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 no that would no, block no, out that the would sun. Block that out would be bad. Sun. That would be really bad. But you just have some. You don't. Not need... if you keep enough space behind between. Them. No, that's a joke. <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean, you don't. Would you wouldn't need that many anyway? That would power more than the Earth's energy needs, like times. Several thousand, at least, if, <laughs> if not. I mean, what we're eventually millions. going to do is we're going to go to the nearest star. We're going to cover that in uh, uh, solar Yeah, but panels. then it would take years and years for the power to get back to us. Which By that point, apparently we'll they have... found that technology that Tesla developed. So we're By that able time, to we'll have the power through radio yeah. waves again, which is cool. Um. So yeah, no, um, there, there's enough electricity from the sun, like if we had solar panels Power. in space, that we could, yeah. it, wouldn't, it would be a joke, powering <laughs> pow- the electricity needs of, of uh, the Earth. Wait. It, yeah. We should cover the moon in solar panels. That, what? That's, no. That's an option. Because <laughs> then okay. only when it's a new moon. No. <laughs> then you could have like a, a lunar <laughs> elevator, and you could actually move batteries and stuff if you didn't want to do the whole radio waves thing, but... That that would be more expensive, honestly. Lunar elevators don't necessarily work, cause not yet. We haven't built one that works yet. And now, but you, there's asteroid mining. This is a thing that's going to be happening soon, and that will provide enough. Uh, Hopefully, <laughs> that will provide enough uh, physical materials to build all this stuff. Nice, nice. And one day we might have self-replicating machines that <laughs> go onto an asteroid, build more of themselves, and then send stuff back here. And then all of a sudden, money is of no object because we can make whatever we want. Yes, and then we live in a post scarcity society where we don't need money anymore. Or, you know, you just. (laughs) What do people do then? Like, what what, what do you do when money is no object? Pursue art. 
Or, yeah. yeah, but then Make what beauty. about what, what about talk for, like, with people other like, humans about stuff? What about the people who either don't have the smarts to be able to do uh, philosophy, don't have the skill to do art or music? Where do they fit in after? I that? mean, I I think that you could, you know. Do what you like. like people learn things. I well, agree. Guys. Skill is entirely learned, but that's also part of the thing. People don't really. Well, I mean, then you do what you want. You play video games all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, uh, it's starting to get closer yeah, to my class. Yeah, Chewbacca's got to go. Gotta go. <laughs> See ya. See ya, Chewie. Now I'll the. Just... I will remember you in my dreams. <laughs> Hopefully yeah, not the ones be with the cage. Next in. week. <laughs> <laughs> I love the escorts. How dare I? Chewie will be yeah, a regular yeah, occurrence on this show. Yeah. So now the math is right. Two crazy guys talking. <laughs> no, there's only one crazy guy talking because I'm not crazy. Clearly, okay, yeah, you're clearly, clearly not crazy. I'm just mad. Let's say you're bad. You're mad. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to um. Oh yeah, I was gonna. What were we talking about? Oh. Uh, Oh yeah, we're we're making uh, Chewbacca sign over his um, nothing to get the station one hundred dollars. Uh, yes, because <laughs> we need to. Because yeah, I have the list of. Uh... We're collecting souls, <laughs> so if, <laughs> if you still have one, haven't sold it to Satan yet, please. We're, <laughs> we're looking, we're looking, and uh, please. And uh, we don't send your soul to hell afterwards, so. <laughs> Not usually, though we can if that's the way you want to set it up. We have we have a special connection with, with Satan here, so it, it, it's <laughs> speaking of Satan. Have you guys heard of like modern Satanism? It's like actually kind of cool, like. You should probably explain what it is now. Yes. Modern Satanism isn't about... From my understanding, it's not necessarily... Well, you're, you're talking about Leviathan Satanism, because there's modern theistic Satanists who do worship the devil, but we don't need to talk about them right now. Yeah. That, <sighs> so these Satanists actually very much put, like, the self and the collective and minimizing suffering overall. I mean, I could I could definitely identify with minimizing suffering. It's it's about, you know, people first. It's like, you know, not thinking about whatever is out there, people first. Personally, I, I think that's just like, you know... Like, it should be like, of course, obviously, yes. I mean, I believe in God, but I don't really follow any particular religion. I just think that, like, you know, you, you could feel the what's right and you know you can see suffering is bad so one should try to prevent that you know try to help people people should be able to do what they want as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else I've always and kind of there you know and I, personally I believe in having some kind of government that exists only to prevent people from screwing other people over I, I which is a lot that. of stuff Still, it's still very, a lot of things, but, you know, all this power and we have to fight the other countries. It's like, why do we even have countries? Why do we have countries? Like, we're I just mean, fighting, sure, we're culture, fighting over resources. Waste all the resources. But trying to keep can your resources. be preserved while having a unified government. Oh, yeah, it can. Like, I mean, no, I don't want there to be, like, a single culture. No, there's, like, a different bunch of different people and you, you get to know them and appreciate them. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's... Like, just awesome. What is it called? Uh, United Nations is a really great idea. 
I love that idea because it's everyone coming together to work on issues together to see the world become something more than just a collect a collection of individual people. Are we are we getting back to the hive mind of the we're other? We're getting show? back to the hive mind <laughs> from yesterday. If you didn't know, we were on the uh, uh, we're, yeah on the on worst show, show ever. Yeah, the it, the best the show, show ever. It's gonna have a different name every week. <laughs> Dio Brando's uh, <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is his next show, and it's gonna be great. I thought the next one was Welcome to the Void. Yes. And welcome to the jungle, my friend. We've got fun and games. <laughs> but, yeah, like... It's possible to have a one-world government. And no, people the, the keep problem. looking at that and saying it's a conspiracy. They're using it to control people. And... I this mean, is probably true. I mean, there's probably people out there who would the like to do that. That's, possible way, that's yeah. the danger of it. Like, it has to be done in a way where you make sure that the wrong people don't get into power that just want to, like, say, oh, I'm the god of everything. You you don't have freedom anymore. That's that's the opposite of, of what should happen. That's bad. And no, the, the problem with, like, getting to this point is all the, like, the road there is long and difficult and... People are set in their ways. That is, and that is it's true. It's really tricky to, you know, teach that. Or we're probably sounding like a couple of total nut jobs right now. <laughs> I mean, we are, but given the name of the show, <laughs> it would make sense. I, I hope someone's thinking about this, though. I hope so too, and I, I really want the world to become a place that I can say I'm proud to live in it. Unfortunately, that's not true right now. I can't say that I'm proud to live in a America. Well, that that's that's B, like even easier to say. Just than not no. Straight up the world. Everything's messed up. And I, I mean, don't think we can fix it, but I think we can get things better. I could say that I'm glad to like, you know, be part of the earth and be in this world at all I could say I'm glad for that I don't know like people sometimes are very disappointing I mean that's mostly what people say when they're talking about the world Yeah. in this case uh, but then also the it's like though. people and their experiences definitely matter it's not like oh so people keep killing each other that means they have no value no it means that we're destroying our own value and we should stop doing that Value. Value. Worth. Do we have intrinsic worth? Or do we create our own worth? I mean, either way, it's there. Either way, it's there. I it, mean, if you're trying to ask, is like, is there a reason for this universe and are, are we doing something for a purpose? I mean, I no. think our purpose would is either no, or it's just to exist and learn and experience things. So, I mean, we're not running a battery here. True. Well, we might. You never <laughs> we, know. We don't know, but I, I... You know, if we are, then, like, screw the battery. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but then we just create our own battery, and they create their own battery, and they create their own vent. <laughs> It's a paradox of batteries, my friend. You just got to keep ru running through it, right? Yeah. But, yeah. What were we originally talking about? I don't even remember. We, we were talking about uh, time and space. Time and space. We okay. haven't really, like, these things lead to each other. This is how it works. Yeah. I this mean, is how this show is going to go. To another, to another, to another, to another. This is probably how this show is going to go. Yeah. Constantly. And we're probably going to cover the same topics every single week. That's not well, true, actually. Yeah, we we'll probably won't. We will probably retread some of this, but we'll, like, shine a different light on it or something. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure, like, no one's going to be sitting there. we got to catch two crazy guys talking every week. 
Gotta catch so them all. Gotta catch them all. Even if we repeat ourselves. Yeah, we'll yeah. have new a new audience. And I mean, no one's going to be listening to this, <laughs> right? Right? Please tell me I'm right. I don't want to be heard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love this. This is fun. This My, is fun. You're fun. Walrus, you are a cool guy. So are you, Raptor? No. Yes. <laughs> no. You see, I, argue this other I am a hot guy. Uh, <laughs> You can tell my, by my voice that I am clearly over, like, 700 pounds. You're not over 700 pounds. Oh, I am. That's, like, two of you. <laughs> <laughs> more if than I had two. it my way, it would be a little more than two of me. It's a little, seven, oh, 700 pounds is a little more than two of him. It's it, would be, it would be about two and a fourth of me, to be honest. Well, he's just weighed himself now, if you could do math. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but um so so what kind of stories do you like? Oh, well, weird stories, stories that make me think, happy stories, stories of like pretty locations and a good description of like the area you're in. Or really well drawn. Oh, yeah. Because comics can be oh, yes. in that. Yeah. Or movies. Or video games. Or video. Then the stuff that I, I don't like to talk about, but that I will anyway. Oh. Because I'm going to make myself. Yeah, like, if, I, if I'm watching, like, something with romance in it, I get, like, sad. Oh, yeah, because we are the forever alone. But it's, like, beautiful, but it, it makes me sad. Oh, man, I recently, just last night, I read this short little comic about the two main characters, uh, two of the main especially characters like from anime. I just, I died. Little Witch Academia, Akko, the main character, and Diana, the kind of uh, popular girl character. I have not seen that one yet. Oh, my God, you have to watch this show. I, I have to watch so, it, yes, but I haven't seen it yet. Diana... The popular girl character is not that big of a butthole that a Akko and how I originally thought she was going to be. She is a very nice person, and in this short comic, they fall in love, and it was so beautiful because it was genuine. It was genuine, and that always makes me just so happy to see, you know? Like, love is... Love can be easily ham-fisted into anything. But when there is an actual, like, connection between characters, it's worth it. And it was worth it in that comic. I just... It was, it was beautiful. It renews my hope in love, you know? That's, that's good. That's something you shouldn't lose, the hope, even though it's such a slim hope. Hey, For me, it's hey. a slim hope for me. I don't know, your hope might be a little less slim. <laughs> As they said in Gurren Lagann, even if it's 1% chance... That's as good as a 100% chance to me. So we're going to go out there and we're going to do it. We're going to become the people we want to be. We're going to have meaningful and genuine relationships. Yeah, we could also, it you know. It takes time and work. Also, believe in the me heart of the that cards. believes in you. Believe in the me that believes in the heart of the cards that believes in you. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I also believe in the you that believes in me. Yes, because I believe in you. And you can do anything you put your mind to. Which is why you need to get up and move, my friend. But, I mean, we're doing the radio show right now. Fair enough. 
What you don't you, you don't want to get in get in here and just start doing like jumping jacks? Not really. Have no. people listen to us do jumping jacks constantly? Do you want to make people listen to you do? <laughs> you're not even doing jumping jacks. There's a camera. The people on the live stream can see that you're not doing jumping jacks. Hey, hey, hey. There may be a camera, but this is radio. It's all about showmanship, well, yeah, man. Well, breakers, yeah, breakers can't tell if you're doing jumping jacks or not, except they told them you're not. But I might be lying. Who knows? <laughs> My, uh, gosh darn it. Walrus, you are never the type to lie. Sure, you lie. When I you're do not lie, the type to lie. When I do lie, you never know, because I don't do it that often. <laughs> On the I contrary, if you never. never do it often, you never know how to do it right. So when you do lie, it's more obvious. That's what you think. That is what I think. Thank you very much for pointing that out. I, I Yeah, that is what I think. Here, tell me a lie. Well, and tell if, me a truth. If, if I and do I'll it tell, now, it's, and I will you'll guess. know because I'm thinking about no, no, it. No, no, no. Hold on. Tell me a truth and tell me a lie, and then I will guess to see which one is uh, which. Okay. I'm going to have to think about this for a while. Okay, we can come so back. So, yeah, to let's... Actually, it's about time to go to commercial anyway. So, oh, boy. Yeah. You got to follow these things, man. <laughs> these places that uh, we're going to be commercially, commercialing are really good places, and you got to go there, please. Just... Please. I'm, I'm like, completely uh, broke, please. Thinking of getting engaged? Tired of mall shopping where all the jewelry looks alike? Cameo Jewelers is the store to shop for beautiful, unique diamond engagement rings, silver fashion, and Disney jewelry. Why shop online when you can get the same pricing and better quality at Cameo Jewelers? Two store locations, Menor and Chardon. Menor store liquidation, 50% off Pandora. Remember the five C's when buying a diamond. Cut clarity, color, carrots, and Cameo. Bring in your Lakeland ID for a special discount. Check out our website, CameoJewelers.com. Facebook and Twitter. Here at Lux, we focus solely on hookah. We have an extremely knowledgeable staff and we always try to make all of our customers feel at home. This is where true hookah enthusiasts come to smoke. Our prices are reasonable and our service is outstanding. We are a hookah lounge in the purest sense of the word. A hookah lounge designed and staffed by hookah fans for hookah fanatics. To top it off, we always go above and beyond. We are meticulous in everything that we do. From the hookah we use to the hoses we provide to the way we pack our bowls. We make sure that your hookah experience is of the highest possible quality. Our hookahs are cleaned after each use. When they begin to deteriorate, we replace them. Our hoses are replaced every three months and our flavors are always fresh. If it doesn't taste right to us, then we won't serve it to you. We only use the finest Exotica hookah charcoal. Majority of our customers Customers turn into regulars and eventually friends because we pride ourselves on our product and service. If it does not meet your standards or doesn't work, we fix it. If you still have a problem with it, we replace it. It's just that simple. We want you to enjoy yourself and expect you to leave happy. If you want the best hookah experience, you come to Lux. Located at 37939 Vine Street, Willow By. We invite you to come experience the flavor and see what you've been missing. We hope to see you soon. Hey, this is our whiskey from Whiskey Protocol, and you can check me out on Facebook at Whiskey Protocol or on Reverb Nation at ReverbNation.com slash Whiskey Protocol. You're listening to the magnificent, fantastic Lake Effect Radios from Lakeland Community College in Cutland, Ohio. We'll keep on rocking around the clock tower, y'all. My opportunity in respiratory therapy began at Lakeland, and now I'm your respiratory therapist, my dream career began in the Adult Accelerated Program at Lakeland. Now, I'm a financial analyst. My career in special education started here at Lakeland. And today, I counsel adults with special needs in our community. Find your dream career. It starts at Lakeland. Lakeland Community College. Opportunity starts here. Visit lakelandcc.edu. 
So you started classes, and now you're wondering how to manage it all. Did you know that Lakeland has a lot of services to help you? Lakeland's Student Success Center offers a lot of free workshops to help you become a stronger college student. You can learn how to organize your work and schedule, or strengthen your memory, and how to master study skills, how to acquire about math and anxiety, tips for test success, and more. If you need more personal help, they have success coaches with support areas such as taking notes, reading, enhancing, time management, finding your learning style, and even the basic computer skills. So don't let your semester get away from you. Stop by the Student Success Center in room one A one O nine four three to see what they are can help to see what they can do to help you get through your classes with success. Welcome back to Two Crazy Guys Talking. So have you thought of your question or your So we changed it up a little bit. Now it's going to be two truths, one lie, and I need to guess which one is the lie? So, all right. Have you thought of them? Yes. Okay. I do not like bacon. Okay. Little Nicky's my favorite movie. Okay. And I like sauerkraut. I'm guessing bacon. That's the truth. You don't I like bacon. Don't like bacon. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> I'm. That's what you knew. I'm dumb too. because. Well, no, I knew you loved <laughs> Little Nicky, and I knew you. I oh yes, about... I love Little Nicky, but it's not my favorite movie of all time. What was that? The lie? Yeah, that was the lie. It's not my favorite movie of all time. I just really like it. Okay, let's see if you can do it for me. Okay, so my favorite color is green. I've been here for more than two years, and. I have sang on stage at Severance Hall. Hmm. You've been here for more than two years. Is that the is that what you say I is the line? It's I mean, you've been here for two, I think. But no, that has to be true. But I know you've sang at Severance Hall. On stage. I so know which that's is a fact. It? I thought your favorite color was green, though. Is it not green? It used to be green. Now oh. it's more of a sunset. In fact, the colors of the sunset, that entire palette is my favorite. Color. Oh, that those are some fantastic those colors. Those are some beautiful those. colors. Oh, man. And then, no, oh. no, no, no. The sunset and then in the fall with the leaves. And... Oh, yes. Oh. And, and if you can get... To, what is it, Penitentiary Glen over the fall when all of the leaves are still on the tree but have changed colors. And they have that big giant tower now and the high rise. Go to that if Wait, you can. Do you mean Holden Arboretum? I might have meant Holden, Holden that's, Arboretum. That's where the tower is. Okay, go to, well, go to both because yeah, they're go to both, both beautiful places. I mean, they're both like right down the street from each other. Yeah. So, like, go to Holden Make Arboretum. Make a day trip. We got to do that. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm definitely going to do that. You know, I'm going to get all of my friends to go do that. I'm going to yes, get Walrus. Let's... I'm going to get Ethica. I'm going to get, like, everyone. It'll be great. And then Lakeland as a whole should do it. Like, just go down to Holden Arboretum. Look at the pretty colors of the leaves. I mean, when they start changing. When they when start changing. When that happens, because right now it's... it's, it's, it's go now, close. too. Go now, too. Just go to the forest. The forest is awesome. It's I always I can see awesome. outside the window, and there are dead leaves right now. And I can see them, and they're beautiful. But it's still mostly green. The dead leaves are so pretty. They are. They're also dead there's but the tree's not dead. There's Just the leaves. The tree is like time to sleep. There can be beauty in death, my friend. There can be. Like but not skeletons are death. cool. Skeletons are cool. Having like we we've all seen like And then, you know, maybe 
when we die, it's not all bad. Hopefully. We don't know this, though. Hey, so, hey, I'm yeah. banking on that it's going to be a void and that I will just cease to exist. So that would be my ideal situation. Just, you just want to not exist. If I could, I would just zero sum myself so that I had never actually existed in the first Why? place. Why? Why? Because then I wouldn't have to deal with this sadness afterwards. But you could just fix it instead. Like, it, it could get better. It can. Well, no, I mean, like, the sadness of, for other people. Oh, okay. I you think you make everyone else sad? I would if I passed away. That's what I'm talking oh, about specifically. Oh, okay. So you you don't want to inflict your death on anyone. Yeah. That makes sense. Like, that would be... that That is the worst part of it all. Is yeah, it is. Because then people miss you. People That's, miss you. Yeah. We, we all it's know about painful. that end of it. We've all lost somebody, and it's sad. So, yeah, I can understand, like, I hope no one misses me just because, like, I don't want to make, I don't want to make people, people sad either. I don't know about, like, never existing. That That's a little much. But. I don't know, man. I, I hope that, like, I'll people know that miss you, I man. died happy. When you and, die in, like, 60, 70 years, thank you very much. Hey, you know what? By that point, we might have even longer lives because. Oh, we probably Medicine will. Medicine is getting better every day. And by the time we're old, hopefully, like, society will have gotten over itself and, you know, provided Fat people with health care. Fat chance of no, that. No, there's, there's a... It's actually being talked about, even <laughs> even with the current horrid situation. Yeah. So... Because it's true. After I mean, all that, our generation we, is we're going to see, like, nope, power. never again. Never, never, never again. Not this. That's... No... We like to think that. We like to think that. But I think as I our mean, if generation... You, if you look at history, there's been a progression of like people getting it slowly. There's a long, long way to go, but it, it's slowly been gotten better over time. You know... And then you take a giant step backwards, and that usually springs something else forward, because, like, no, that was, that was a mistake there. That was... Yeah, so... We'll see... You know, in this most recent election, like, a good half of the population, if not more, absolutely just did not vote. Like, voting age population, people who could vote, did not register, did not vote. That's... Why is this? What have we brought... Well, I, I know there's people who think that voting is a sham anyway. It's probably hard to convince them otherwise, even though, like, no, these things are counted. There is some measure of democracy here. However, you know, how it's threatened, actually. People try to... They try to make it so that some people can't vote or won't show up to vote or, you know, scare people out of voting. There's attempts to do that. It's not okay. We've, but then we've there's gone also to politics now. Yeah, but, this was oh my well. fault. <laughs> but then there, 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 there are the people who, like me, feel like they're having to choose between, like, for lack of a better uh, term, a douche in a turd sandwich. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that word, but I it's... I mean, I don't think those words are listed. They're... They're not. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> but they're not in the things you can say. No, All they're, I, they're also they not. Can, so they can say it on South know. Park. So we can say it on radio. I know radio is uh, different. I, I'm kidding. Uh, but, yeah. It, you're choosing between a turd sandwich and... I mean, I, I think that, that uh, one of those cleaning things is, is clearly, one of those choices was clearly far worse to be far, far worse. And that's the one that got chosen. In retrospect, I would say. No, I mean, I knew going in, like... And I knew going in that both would be garbage. I just... I mean, no, one, it's either we've got this crap storm now... 
Or, you know, you'd be like, well, that's disappointing. It's either a crap storm I mean, now or a crap storm later. It's... What crap storm later? I mean, if Hillary were president, she would have done some stuff that wouldn't have been as good as the stuff Bernie Sanders was going to do. She's then a again, lot more Congress benign wasn't, comparatively. I agree, Congress absolutely. wasn't going to... But there would have just been let as many... of them do anything anyway. There would have been as many, uh, uh, like... Reports of collusion between uh, the Russians, just as many. Yeah, but, but it wouldn't I, have a legitimate investigation. It probably would have. I don't know. I. Then again, Congress probably would have tried to impeach her like the first day. I just really wish we could have. That's how it works. For um, we should be able the, to have a mulligan. I'm not gonna speak there. We should be Not able to have a mulligan. the entire party of, you know, wanting to do stuff that they probably would do anyway. When both choices are bunk, we need to have the option for a mulligan. I, I don't know how you'd even implement that, though. Well, true. Because as much as people say, well, vote third party. Yeah, that that's not going to happen anything. because I mean, there should be three like parties that are. There valid, should be more than aren't. three, to be honest. Well, yeah, but they're just there aren't. shouldn't be because how it works is like, oh no, that party's not going to win, so we're not going to vote for them, and then it makes them actually not going to win. But there's like no way to fix that, really. There's no way to fix that unless you dismantle the party system. parties and just have everyone as an independent. I mean that might actually be a good idea because both parties are kind of from the inside they were they were running stuff yeah like what what they did to bernie you know they like the that's, political you can't scene be like oh we're gonna so set it up so it's like this no this is supposed to work toxic and it it's is. because there are only two possible choices i mean i guess but one of those choices is usually way better, if you ask me. And that's a political bias. Well, and no, because if you just go to, like, what we were talking about earlier. Specifically? Specifically, like, you know, people not screwing with other people and... Reducing you know, the amount of suffering. Yeah, like, which party is more likely to try to prevent hate crimes? I think both parties are just solely focused on getting the money. Well, maybe, like, the people running the actual party, but not the, everybody in the party. Like, one of them has ideas, other one has different kind of ideas. They're definitely very different ideas. But here's the thing. No, the whole system... I haven't actually really The whole system is it, kind but... of... Well, there you go. But, like... I am sure there are people on both sides who would try their best to avoid things like the current rising of freaking Nazis. Well, yeah. I mean, most most Republicans are anti-Nazi. This is true. So I don't know if that uh, assertion that one party would be more likely. Well, I mean, I'm not... I, I never said that, like, you know, Republicans don't want to prevent hate crimes. That's not true at all. There's a lot of Republicans that want to prevent hate crimes because they're, you know... Genuinely good people. That's what, you know, yeah. There's So there's, there's good people on both sides. It's just a certain kind of, like, I want to control this and say it's that it's all about you know, where the money goes and that I think and then, is well you've got your uh, your homophobes in the certain branches of the church I do believe that uh, and this is just as politically biased but I, I do have a feeling that Republicans are very much more Christian conservatives as opposed to like anything else 
That's, so they that are more sense. likely to try and throw their religion into the government where it should not at all be touching the government. Democrats are likely to do it too. But I don't know. They're probably not as influential in the church as uh, Republicans are. But that's, those are stereotypes, and I don't think those are good stereotypes. I think there's a lot of misinformation on both sides about that. Sh- that stuff. That's that's also true. I mean, I thought we were talking about, like, the, the party's... Uh, I mean, we were no, talking the, like, about the, the party leadership being corrupt. Well, that goes into it which, as well. Which, you know, there's been some of that on both sides. Yeah. That, you know, that doesn't make everybody in the party corrupt, though. That's not how it works. Yeah, but politics as a whole is just... It, it's a giant mess. It's really messy. It's, it's, it's we've, we've already made a mess. Look what we've done. It's <laughs> liquid fecal matter. Just all <laughs> over the bathroom, and you're the one that has to clean it up. They're yelling at you for not cleaning it up as quickly as possible. Okay, well, that probably disturbed somebody's lunch hour. Probably. Good job. I'm very sorry. You should apologize. Yeah, I am very yeah. sorry about being completely and descriptively <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, God. I, I met with your use of language there, but okay. Hey, I did. I did say descriptively right. I mean, if it was, if and it, that it, I was sorry for being descriptively right. Yeah, I mean, you could have used a different description, a different analogy there. If it, if it wasn't, if it was it wasn't it's chocolate hour, milk all over the. <laughs> oh, no, all, all over the. <laughs> That's worse. That is so much worse. <laughs> Let's not deny. Like, oh, it's it's actually chocolate milk. Everything's okay. No, no. And, and I, you're I not supposed wa- to cry over spilled milk, I wish but they're crying anyways. Like, the time when everyone is eating lunch. I just, I feel bad for that. I mean, well, if no, it was, if it was, one, uh, people are done with lunch, but and that's not true. Yeah, it's not true. If, if it was, if it was a bit later, like, the other show is probably late enough where most people are eating lunch and it's okay. Yeah. But, damn. But even at one o'clock, <laughs> it, it, there's not that many people left. Well, I mean... We could find that out when the show ends. We could see just you how could big of a jackass we've been right now. that window to your left to see how many people... Okay, most of the lunch is finished. Most of the... <laughs> but not exactly. all of it. Exactly. Not all most... of it. Is that Dan? Oh, my God. <laughs> On the air. <laughs> it's Dan, and he saw Hi, me Dad. and he waved. I love you, Dan. You're the best. He can hear you. <laughs> he can hear me. I know. I just... <laughs> Guys, Dan is the best guy ever, please. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll tell, every he'll tell you we're lying. Every time I see lying, him, I'm just going to We're not. keep doing this every time I see him. <laughs> He's gone now. but, but. We chased him off. <laughs> what he was like, done? oh, th- this, this is just <laughs> too much praise for me right now. I mean, so wait, how long... Are people supposed to be subjected to our bollocks here? Till, till about now. Till about now? Yeah. Thanks okay. for uh, tuning in to Two Crazy Guys Talking. Thank you, and please come back. I beg you, please, don't leave me here. <laughs> please. I'm begging you. <laughs> this is uh, Lake, Lake Effect Radio and all that stuff, because I forgot. My head just went... Same. Okay, goodbye. This is Lakeland, and we are cool. Take your classes here. Yeah.